Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. We're going to be looking to see the messages that the divine wants you to receive in this timeless reading. As usual, I always remind you to take what is resonating with you, leaving behind anything that is not for you. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be getting our cards and seeing the messages that I hear. At the bottom of the deck of what you're currently not seeing at the moment, the divine is saying that there has been enough warnings. The red flags have been flying. Okay, the alarm bells have been ringing to tell you that there is an imminent ending around a situation. The divine is saying that don't get triggered though into feeling afraid because the tower card is wanting to bring liberation. The tower card is here to bring you that freedom that you have been praying for so that you can go on a new journey, on a new beginning that you have been trying to manifest for a long time. So there's a journey that you are going to be going on and the divine is saying that for that journey to start, there's an ending that is going to happen, but celebrate, welcome this ending that is here because you are going to be going to something that is better. There's a feeling that is here where you could be feeling afraid, where you could be feeling doubtful because of this situation that is here. But again, the divine is saying that this is nothing to be afraid of. Okay, you have been praying. You have been communicating to the divine, the guides, your ancestors about your situation. You have really been talking about you wanting to level up, about you wanting to go places. And the divine is saying that where you are currently right now, it is not serving you. It is not inspiring you to grow. So this is why this ending is coming. Because this ending, when it comes later on, once you've processed everything and you're looking back, you're going to be thankful for this ending, this liberation that is here. Don't look at it as an ending. In fact, look at it as you being liberated. Look at it as you being set free, free to go on a journey that is going to be leading you to your highest self, to the highest vibration and expression of yourself. So the divine is saying that you already know what the situation is all about. So what we're going to do is we are going to be getting our oracle cards. And as usual, when I'm getting your oracle cards, I take the opportunity to tell you on the services that I am currently working on. And currently I am working on offering the solar eclipse ceremony that is going to be happening on the 20th of April. On the solar eclipse, this is going to be the first solar eclipse for 2023. This is powerful. This is like a life-changing opportunity that is here. Okay. And this life-changing opportunity that is here could come in a way that is connected to the tower card because the solar eclipses are eclipsing something out of our, our lives. They are cleansing, they're letting go of something out of our lives. So on this solar eclipse, me and my team do not work with the energies of the eclipses to manifest, but rather we work with these energies to do the shadow work. So for those of you who are going to be part of the ceremony, the candle magic ceremony, we are going to be cutting the cords. We are going to be banishing, returning to sender. We are going to be um, removing hexes, bad luck. If you feel like you've got an evil eye, all the type of energy, we are cleansing that because this is what the solar eclipse energy is all about. So if you feel that you're wanting to be part of this powerful ceremony, I have been posting some shots. Go and have a look at the shots to see how the ceremonies are. I collaborate with other powerful people and we really infuse and inject a lot of energy, vibration and really lifting up the energies so that when it is time for you to go and plant your seeds of intentions, they are being planted in a state that the vibration is really vibrating at its highest level. This is going to be an amazing ceremony. And again, everything that you need to know is in the description box below. Okay, so beloved, you received the energies of the tower card opening up this reading. You received these energies and this is a major arcana card. The moon card is another major arcana card that is here. So these two cards here really hold the weight of the reading. And I already told you what this is all about. There's an ending that is here. There's a liberation that is coming. But right now, you might be feeling afraid. The divine is saying that, please, take that energy of fear and find a way of turning it into your inspiration. Because there is going to be like a comeback. Your comeback is going to be your greatest moment. 
So do not allow yourself to keep on clinging onto situations that you have outgrown. Do not allow yourself to keep on clinging and holding on to relationships that no longer serve you. The divine is telling you that we are going to be working with that moon energy and the eclipse energy. So something is definitely getting eclipsed out and be grateful for this because something else quickly and fast is going to be coming in and bringing in something that you have been praying for because you've received the energies of the eight of wands. The eight of wands, as you can see, is quick, is fast. So this ending that is here could come in quickly, boom, fast, job done. You felt like you were stuck. You felt like things were not moving for you. You do the cleansing ceremony. You wipe this slate clean. And before you know it, you are seeing a movement in your life at a swift pace that you have never seen before. So the divine is really wanting you to understand that again, let this tower moment inspire you. Welcome this tower moment because it is going to be bringing in liberation. It is going to be bringing in your gifts that you were praying for for a long time. So there is something that is going to be coming in that has the potential to grow into something spectacular that has the potential to really fire you up, to really get you excited, to really inspire you. So I'm really excited about this energy because you have also received another fire type of energy from our six of wands. And the six of wands is all about you understanding that you have to step into the energy, the archetype of the warrior to fight for what it is that you want. Because at its lowest polarity, the moon card can trigger us into feeling afraid. It can make us feel frozen and not know what to do next. But because you are working with the energies of the fire, you are working with the energies of our warrior from the energies of the six of wands. You are not going to be feeling stuck. You are not going to be feeling afraid, but you are going to be feeling excited of the opportunity that is here. Because the six of wands is all about you understanding that life needs you to be the warrior. Your life needs you to put on that cape and to be your own superhero. The Six of Wands is the card about the warrior that goes to war, strategizes very well, and then comes back home being celebrated. So the warrior has been victorious. So the divine is saying that your victory is going to come in swift and fast because you have allowed this tower moment to clear things out of your life that was blocking you. So I really see a lot of you really doing the cleansing ceremony. Okay, whether you're working with me, whether you're doing this by yourself, do that cleansing ceremony. Wipe the slate clean because when it is time to fly high, you don't want old baggage holding you down, weighing you down. You are going to be soaring like that ego. You've got places to go. You've got the fire that is there that is really inspiring you. So you don't want to be feeling afraid. You don't want to be holding on to things that are just going to be weighing you down. So this is why I love working with the energies of the moon because they give us the opportunity to plant but also to remember that once we've planted our seeds, we must go in our gardens, in our, manifesting gar in our manifestation gardens and pull out the weeds and pull out the things that don't belong there so that our manifestations can grow strong instead of fighting and competing with weeds for nutrition, for attention, for the sun. So the divine is asking you to really truly work with these energies that are here. When you start working with these energies, you are going to be seeing that life is going to be changing in a way that is powerful, in a way that is swift, fast, and beautiful. Okay, so the divine is saying that again, the tower card, the moon card is that energy of feeling afraid, of feeling confused even. And our oracle card is coming to tell you that, listen, it is important right now not to settle for short-term comforts, okay? This is a moment of liberation. It almost feels like a once-in-a-lifetime type of moment that is here. So the divine is saying that the tower card is here, liberating you, setting you on a new path. And for you, keep on going because it could feel like your darkest moment when the tower moment happens, but the darkness doesn't last forever. Light will come. A new horizon, a new chapter will start merging and forming for you when you start going and walking towards a new beginning. So the divine is saying, keep going. Don't look back. Keep going. Don't allow short-term comforts to trick you into selling out.
okay, to trick you into staying in a situation that is, that's not even that comfortable. You are not happy here, but you're comfortable because you've allowed this situation to trick you to think that there's nothing better out there. To trick you into thinking that if you want something better, then it's going to be really hard. The divine is saying that nonsense, okay, absolute nonsense. Go into that warrior mode. Go and do what you feel is right for you. Take inspired action. And before you know it, your life could be doing that 360 degree turnaround. And you are going to be really excited about the new beginnings that are here. Because the divine is wanting you to understand on a deep level that greatness is written for you. Your throne is waiting to come and claim it. So again, it is time for you to get that sword and to go and do whatever it is that you need to do to change your situation quickly and fast. Your situation will be changing quickly and fast. So the divine is saying to you that as you are on this journey, because we've got the cards that are connected to fear that could be triggering, it is important for you to light that candle. I already told you about our solar um, eclipse ceremony that is here where I'm lighting the candles and working with the energies. Light your own candle. Okay, burn those incense. Connect your guides. Connect with your ancestors because it is important to ask for your guides for assistance. Because when you connect, you'll be able to see that you have that intuition, you have that guide that is guiding you along the way. There's many blessings that are going to be coming and growing into your life. And you want to see all these blessings that are coming in to grow to their full potential. But for them to grow to their full potential, you have to show up. You cannot carry on playing small. You cannot carry on doubting yourself. You cannot carry on sabotaging yourself. So if you're needing to cut the cords to self-sabotaging behaviors, to how you get in your own way, procrastination, this is another way of cutting the cords. Cutting the cords is not just only cutting the cords to people. You just could have ways that you get in your own way, that you block your blessings, cut those cords, free yourself so that you can journey and come to your throne that is waiting for you. So this is the message that I have for you. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye.